Hey guys, Lucas from iExplore here. I'm standing in front of Nakagin Capsule Tower, which is one of the coolest buildings in Tokyo. And today I want to share with you my process for working the scene when dealing with architectural elements and really cool buildings like the one behind me. So, I'm here today in front of the building and I have my trusty Ricoh GR with me, which I love using in the daytime especially for these kinds of shots. And one thing I like about it, especially uh, for the purpose of this particular video, is that it comes with a big constraint and that is it does not have a zoom lens. It has a 28 millimeter equivalent lens, so it really forces exactly how I can shoot. I can't just stand back and zoom in. I'm going to have to get creative with the environment around here, all right? And I think that's, that's really good, the great thing about this camera, one of the things I love about it. Um, so, but having said all that, the first shot I'm going to do is a more basic shot. You don't need to necessarily start with an out of the box, you know, reinvent the wheel shot. Sometimes it's good just to start with the obvious shot and then work your way deeper. So the obvious shot here is a simple shot of the building, just a nice landscape. And even with this shot though, you got to be careful and think about your framing. Um, I'm gonna, if I put the building in the middle like this, I end up getting a lot of clutter down here. So I think it's better to crop that out, frame it out, and then you get a cleaner shot like this. And by the way, right now I'm shooting on f5.6 because it is a little bit gloomy. So that's the aperture that I chose for this shot. So one thing you can do is use some foreground elements to add a little bit of interest to the shot. So for example, you know, the building is really cool, but we have this yellow line here on the ground. So I'm going to try to use that. I'm going to get really low. Okay. And from down here, I'm going to focus on the building. Okay. Getting really low, aiming a bit high and then getting something like that. All right. And that's pretty cool just to give it something in the foreground that makes it a little bit more interesting than the building by itself. Okay, I could try to get even lower. Just putting my camera right down there and getting this huge thing in the foreground. You know, that's one thing we can do. So what I'm doing is for this shot, I'm putting it on a, a f2.8 because I want this to be really soft and I'm gonna put the camera really close I'm going to focus back there on the building and then holding the focus down, I'm going to bring it over and line it up something like this. So I get this really cool blur in the foreground, right? And there are other videos on our channel that talk about blurs like this using reflections and blur, blurs in the foreground. So you can check those out and get some more ideas, but that works really well for this building right here. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, so we've done a couple of creative shots beyond the obvious shots. So we've taken a, used the line on the floor, we've used that piece of metal over there. But if we look around, there's actually a lot of glass around here. So we could use the piece of glass over here to maybe add another kind of reflective surface to the scene. Okay, so now I'm up here. I climbed this little ledge, you know, careful not to fall or anything. And I'm just going to see what happens. I'm going to put my camera right here along the uh, piece of glass and focus up there. Okay. And get this really cool symmetry effect. It looks very nice today. There we go. Okay. And then I'll also try to put it like a little bit behind, like behind the glass maybe, but yeah, that doesn't really work. So I'm just experimenting with the exact camera placement. I tried on the other side, but I think the best one is over here. Maybe I could try this way as well as a vertical shot. So I'm just trying all kinds of stuff before I figure out what actually works. All right, guys, so I hope you found that interesting and got some ideas from these different shots that I showed you. Um, the basic idea is that when you come to a scene like this, there's a cool, cool subject, a cool structure that you want to photograph, and then you want to go a little bit deeper. You want to explore the scene and come up with other shots by using the environment and using techniques that you learned maybe in other situations and then applying them here in the moment. All right, and it's good to have constraints by using a, a camera like this with a prime lens. It, in some ways, in, I often find it forces my creativity. Okay, so get out there, have fun shooting, and remember always, challenge your eye.